boss, the Scallywags. Fear K, 101. I'm often asked how I keep such a glorious mane, so soft, healthy looking and maintained all the time. And is it a lot of work? Simple answer, it's not. You can spend 3 to 5 minutes every morning, a good beard oil and soap is all you need. Look at that, a black beard product. Quick breakdown of the oils. It's a blend of 4 carrier oils, castor oil, hemp seed oil, argan and apricot kernel. With added essential oils. No animal byproducts, chemicals or alcohols added. Has a really good absorption rate with a difference you'll feel in minutes. But if you're looking for something that's going to make your beard smell overbearingly perfumed all day, this product is not for you. I personally prefer the more softer, subtle, natural scents. Then we have the beard bar, an all natural soap. Consists of pure coconut oil, cocoa butter, hemp seed oil, and activated charcoal with added essential oils. A good foamy wash that not only cleanses but nourishes too. For more information on that, have a look at blackbeardempire.com. Okay, so we're going to start off with a quick brush. Then a good soap wash. I usually do this in the shower, but nobody wants to see that, so I'm doing it over the basin. Time for a good rinse. Now you don't want to completely dry your beard as the oil applies best when the beard is still damp. Okay, so I use about a half a pipette to my beard. Rub it into your hands. Don't forget the moustache. Get it between your fingers. Use your fingers like a comb. Simple as that, oiled up and ready to shine. Another question I get asked, how can I grow my beard quicker? I'm sorry guys, it's not happening. There is no miracle serum that's going to make it happen, it's in your genes. If you can grow one, you can grow one. Although, using oils and proper soaps and maintaining your beard has proven to encourage growth somewhat at best. Are there downsides to having a beard? Of course there are. For me only a couple. Number one for me, the wind, my nemesis. This baby will fly all over the place. Although there are a couple of simple solutions. Up in angling and cycling with a buff. Years pre-COVID. Have you ever tried wrestling a big ass bug, wasp or bee out of your beard while cycling, it ain't no fun. In more severe winds and certain sports there's the bun. 
Also, please take note, this is the only acceptable bun to be worn by any man. Ever. Last but not least, being able to smash a burger in your face in public. Just not possible. Me, myself, I prefer smashing my burgers in private. Whether it be beef, chicken or other. Regardless, your beard's gonna need a decent wash straight off.